more good. This has not been the opportunity I'd hoped for. This man, I Astag, has an agenda I do not understand. I know he hates the Thalmor, but not how I would expect. Where's the thirst for vengeance? He has had opportunities to directly confront them, but has not always done so. However, he was forced to leave his beloved Aunt Mora for slaughtering an entire diplomatic delegation. I don't understand what drives him. He's fully accepted me, a Bosmer. I'd expected more resistance, but his opinion of me seems to be driven purely by my individual merits as a warrior. It has made me begin to rethink my broad hatred of the High Elves. Perhaps not Elves agree with the ideas of the Thalmor. Perhaps revenge is too simplistic. He has also taken to the open worship of the animal spirits as his brother Hoth does, but with even more zeal. He's evolving before my eyes. Understand that my commitment to our cause has not wavered, but his indifference to the race issue has put me off balance. It's clear that his brothers do not even understand him, but they left that more as children. I a stag answers to something higher that makes me feel as if my goals and feelings are small and meaningless. Though they are older, his brothers hold a strange reverence for him, deferring to his word on everything and calling him Thrun Bedrun. There's something important about him, but I fear he's not the saviour we were all hoping for. Thedal. By Vivex Arts, this is a really. I don't yep. recognize you. So I'll assume this is your first visit to Ravenrock, Outlander. State your intentions. Great gods, man. You could give a woman some warning before you creep up on her. I'm looking for work. And also my grandmother. <laughs> yeah, she's a Nord. This could be fun. You picked one of the worst places in Morrowind to do that, but suit yourself. Yeah, given the weather, I'm sure Just you're remember, right. Raven Rock is sovereign territory of House Redoran. This is Morrowind, not Skyrim. While you're here, you will be expected to abide do you by mind? our laws. Any questions? Yeah, I've got one. It's not for you. It's for this. Do you mind not doing that right next to my ear while I'm trying to have a conversation with the council? That's fine. Thanks for your concern. Hail, Jolland. Great. Well met, Adril. Before you Adril. Yes. That now sounds like something one would sell at an apothecary. Alright, getting off this ship. What? What? This load cost me double what we'd agreed on. Great. Nothing I can do about it. Damn it, Jolland, you know we don't The have Sea Tiger is recruiting. Look. Adventurers and treasure hunters inquire at Blood Skull Barrow, north of Raven Rock. Alright then, it is so noisy with the waves there. Gods, it makes me miss the. miss? Yes, it makes me miss the Ashlands. It's nice and quiet, if a bit murky, a bit like this, actually. Good. Grief is, uh, we're having an ash storm right now, aren't we? You're about done, you great red beastie. There's people trying to live down here. Okay, enough of this. Where would one find Skull on Solstheim? I don't actually know where to begin looking. I should probably sleep. It's very hard for me to sleep on a ship, but I just kind of wanted to see what was going on here. By Sotha Sill's eyebrows, this is really a place, isn't it? It's dreary, it's dull, it's uh, a lot like home. It's a uh, <laughs> It's a bit like Vivek, actually. The town, not the person. 
appear in his shrine. What? Excuse me. That they have forgotten. What's forgotten? Who? Here do we toil. Well, great. This just has the feeling of nope written all over that it. We might remember. What is going on? They're building something. By night we recline. Oh, that's got a really bad energy to it. Makes me want to do something, and I know I'm not powerful enough for that yet. What by day was stolen. Ooh. I wonder how one Far gets that powerful. Ourselves. He grows ever near to us. Alright, well, uh. I think it's a good idea to find the barrow in the morning. Right now. How are you flying right now, you, you creature? Right now I need to find either the inn or the Skull Village, because I know there's one. My mother keeps talking to me about it. Presumably someone there knows where, uh, where my grandmother went. I know she went to Skyrim. She gave us a note. She sent us a note. That she was in Skyrim. And that she was going to stay in... Well, bollocks, I should have brought that note with me here. Oh well. Uh, excuse me. If it wasn't for the bulwark, we'd be digging our houses out from beneath the ash by now. Yeah. It's a bit... <laughs> bit messy here, isn't it? And guess what we've been doing up in the Ashlands? Down in the Ashlands. South in the Ashlands. Ha! <laughs> for a while. Okay, I'm going to assume this is the inn, given the uh, signs outside. Gone exploring. Yeneth Farm and Alchemy Services. Ugh. I don't... Let's go with that one. There's a lot here that I'm not really proficient at, shall we say. I'm not really all that proficient at slaying undead either, but you didn't hear that from me. Uh, do you have any idea where the, uh... There's nothing beyond the bowler, except wild nords and ash wastes. Well, that answers my question. Thank you very much. Well, great. It looks like I'm not going to find them here. Come on in. We've got warm food, warm drinks, and warm beds. Be right down. Adrum, a word. Wow, he's got some really Adrum fancy armor. Quite busy at the moment. Why hasn't a redoran been posted at my shop? Yeah, I got that in blacklight, did you? You and I both know. I work for Mogro. You got a problem? You talk to him. Yep, will do. I wonder if the same laws to uh the same laws about alcohol apply here. I might be able to get away with a bit of something. <laughs> Not that that's a smart thing to do, but whatever. The Nords don't care. Oh, it's uh Sir Adol. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. Uh, All right, I'm gonna to walk around. I hope you don't mind. I'm gonna go around some way. Okay, sorry for barging behind the counter like this, but uh, there's not really any room. Welcome to the Retching Nech Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. The Retching Nech? I'm sure that's a story. There's actually a funny story behind the name, friend. A few years ago, I was walking down by the docks, and I noticed a Dunmer staggering along with a bottle of Sujama in hand. He was one of my patrons and liked to drink heavily, so I wasn't exactly surprised. Heh, <laughs> you got a fair look on your face. Is this one about you? Heh, <laughs> anyway. Does it sound very unusual, actually? Ah, but you see, this particular Dunmer was as naked as the day he was born and singing badly at the top of his lungs. As I'm watching this spectacle, a net floats over the bulwark towards him. 
The man looks straight up at Fenech, yells, have a drink, and tosses the bottle. And it never hit the ground. But the net did, I bet. Well, the bottle broke on the net, and it must have swallowed its contents because it started floating, sort of tilted. Finally, <laughs> it stopped and began to quiver. A few moments later, the foulest liquid to ever assail your nostrils spewed from its mouth. Oh. I've seen plenty of drunks in me day, and I'll tell you right now, that niche was sick. All right, now I get it. That's a really good name for a bar, actually. True story, friend. True story. I imagine so. That's, uh... That's definitely not the kind of story I expected, expected to hear. Sorry about that. Got a wee bit of a, a, a brain going there. Don't worry about it. Eh. Uh, so what's the specialty of the house? The finest who jam it across your lips, friend. My own personal formula that I call Sadri's Sujama. In fact, I've just added some new ingredients to the mixture that I think makes it taste better than ever. All I need to do is get the war out that it's ready, and they'll flock here for it. Well, I could help spread the word if uh, there's a bit of something in it for me. I was kind of hoping you'd say that. Here, take these samples of the Sujama and spread the word. If you get rid of all of them, there's something extra in it for you. If I get rid of them, do I have to give them to people or can I drink them? I suppose it's not great to sample the wares, is it? But, uh... Welcome to the Wretching Niche Corner Club, home of the finest Sue Jammer that will ever grace your lips. Right. I actually wanted to ask you a couple of things. First of all, what is being built outside of town? It looks... I don't know. Evil and menacing. The Earthstone is there. There's also a shrine. You're building a shrine near town? Uh, what kind of shrine? Is it a shrine to, like, Mephala or something? Are we building it? I had a dream about that. Alright, in that light, I would like to rent a room, please. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. Thank you. And, uh... Heard any rumours you'd like to pass along to a, uh, a new traveller by, a, a young adventurer like myself? I heard crazy old Cressius has been sneaking into Raven Rock Mine again. At his age, he's going to get himself killed in there. Oh, delightful. Did I already rent a room from you? Are you joking? You just rented a room for me. Right, okay, sorry. Must be my brain acting up again. I'll show you to your room, right this way. So I don't forget this time? <laughs> Probably smart. Yeah, I don't know where I got it from, it just uh, happens sometimes. It stuff slips in my mind, I forget what I'm talking about in the middle of a sentence. Great times, great times. It's a wonder I've gotten this far, to be frank. Oh, that's a bear. Great. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Thanks. I, uh... I will. I think I'm good. <coughs> I think I should eat something. Or drink something. I really want to have some of this. I'll save it for the last one, I think. Or... Maybe not. We'll see. I did pick some of this up. I don't know what it's like. I don't know what Liz is like either. But let's find out. <laughs> right, that oh Oh, that tastes like hmm nope. Right, okay, something nice and hearty to chase that down with. By the almighty. That was not a good experience. It tastes like piss water. And not in a good way. I don't know if there's a good way that something can taste like... Anyway. Let's go see, uh... I want you to let me know if you see Drayla with Captain Veleth. 
I don't trust him. What? She's not a little girl anymore, Feathers. When are you gonna let her go? He's twice her age, and they barely know each other. You expect me to ignore them? Ravenrock doesn't offer much in the way of companionship. You should be happy for her. How about you keep serving the drinks, and I'll decide what's right for her. Looks like we got a wee bit of drama happening. Right then. He looks like a hearty nord. Hey! You haven't seen Crescius Corellius, have you? That foolish old man's taken my pickaxe again. Uh, right. What's the fuss? No, no, no. This isn't just your run-of-the-mill pickaxe. I'm talking about an ancient Nordic pickaxe. They don't exactly grow on trees, you know. Yeah, it'd be high trick. It would... Excuse me, sorry. It would be very hard to grow a pickaxe on a tree, I would imagine. But, uh, have you talked to the guards about it? Because, I mean, I just heard he's probably digging around in the mine. Couldn't they go get him out? Um, I prefer to handle these things on my own. Look, if you see Crescius, tell him to give me that pickaxe back, and I'll pay you for the trouble. Alright. Uh... So in the meantime, while I'm looking for that, uh, Sadri has just come up with a new drink, and he's uh, giving away samples. Do you like one? Perfect. I was just thinking about heading over for a drink. Thanks for saving me the trip. Hey, not like it's much of a, tri uh, a trip. Sorry, something's going screwy with my head right now. I don't really know what. Maybe I need a drink, actually, now that I think about it. But, uh... You look like a blacksmith or something. Can you tell me more about the shrine near town? It looks a little bit evil and, um... Bad. I thought I remembered, but now I'm not so sure. Is it important, or did I imagine that? I, I don't I don't think you imagined the uh the rock, but uh you may have imagined the dream. I don't know. I'll leave you to your drink, how about that? You tell Crescius he better give that pickaxe back to me, or else. I Well, it looks like uh like maybe visiting hours are over. And in that light, good night. Uh, right, which one was mine again? Was it this one? I'm going to assume it was this one. That feels right to me. Okay. I already ate. So I think what I need to do now is, uh, put that down a second. And, uh, send a quick note to Theral before I go to sleep. It's been a long road. I don't really trust writing on the road, you know? Theral, you worry too much. I have hoped that this will lead somewhere, even if it might not be where we expect it to go. It may prove useful to have such a warrior on our side, though hearing of his agenda troubles me somewhat. What do you mean by something higher? Is he a godly man, or is he an agent of some kind? From your previous description, he sounds like something out of one of my mother's tales. This Eitastag and his brothers haven't been through what we went through. Perhaps if the Thalmor had him at the business end of a bound sword, he'd have a different view of them. His hesitancy to act does confuse me, though. One would think an Atmoran would be the first to jump at that chance to put down in Altmar a twelve. I must admit a bit of trepidation at the idea of even meeting him face to face, not knowing whether or not his acceptance extends to my kind. He sounds like a bit of a barbarian if you don't mind my saying so. I don't believe in saviours, and I never have. But I do believe in you, Theral. You'll bring him around, I'm sure. And if not, well, we'll figure out something. More good. Your eyes once were blinded. Your hands once were idle. And when the world shall listen. And when the world shall see you. Oh 
Okay, two things. First thing, I'm bloody cold. Well and truly bloody cold. Okay. That's not my backpack. I don't know where I found that. Ha. Huh. Okay, every that world will cease to be. All right, that is bloody creepy. Here in his Stop that! Stop that, please. Sam. That they have forgotten. All right, that is just the weirdest. Uh, okay, tripping join. over the rocks here. Uh. What just happened? I went to sleep and I woke up, picking away at a. A rock thing. I don't even know what I am. Or maybe I do. Yeah, I do, actually. Because that's Raven Rock right there. Horker biscuits, that was. Excuse me. Great gods. That we might remember. Yeah, no, that's the creepiest thing I've ever seen in my life. By There's night, something evil going quiet. on here. There's something very evil going on here. I don't know what it is. What by day was stolen. I don't know how to fix it. I want to get out of here as soon as possible, actually. I think maybe I should write lot there about that. Because, uh... That's new. I don't think either of us realised that that was a thing that was going on. Great gods. I don't know what's up here, but I want to see. I want to climb it because it's fun. <laughs> Can I get up here? Uh, not quite. That's fine. Uh, let's try it this way. There we go. I just want to see what's up here. Or see what I can see anyway. Well, I see a fire. That's not a good sign. There's probably something going on here that needs to be sorted out with either a sword. I wonder if that's the niche. <laughs> The infamous niche. The retching niche. The pugin... Uh... Thing. So... Oh. I think I'm about to be the retching niche. Right, I would take my mask off and actually take a deep breath, but there's ash everywhere. There's a body over there. A burnt one. You'd think that someone who grew up in the Ashlands would actually, you know, be alright with the idea of a burnt body with a sword through it. What happened? God's grave! Almighty! Vivek's hairless door, what is this? What are you gawking at? Ah, the mess! What's going on here? Look, I'm here to do a job, and that's it. You stick to your business, and we'll both be fine. Ah, you know, I feel like I should report you to the guard. What did you cause all this? Go on then. What's going on here? That's not going to happen. All right. I don't know who you are. I'm going to assume you had backup given the big keep barrow thing over there. You had your chance. I may have to cut you down if you don't tell me what's going on. 
Whatever you say. Looks like I did the world to start on. Just keep it quiet. What? Okay. I'm sorry for judging you a bit harshly. I'm gonna assume that you're gonna give these uh, poor bastards a good, uh, some kind of funeral. I hope. Great gods, man. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't take things from the dead. That was yours, right? That one was yours. There you go. Don't take crap from the dead, unless you need it. Wow, that's really nice armor, actually. <laughs> We've got an elven... Alright, it's fine. Great gods. Okay, I've had enough of looking at this. I've had more than enough. <laughs> I sounded like my mother just then. That was a bit weird. I suppose it wasn't, she did raise me. Uh. Oh. I forgot I was gonna look at this. Shroud Hearth Barrow. The foul, this most foul thing is an affront to RK. I don't really give a damn about RK, to be frank. Well, maybe I should. I am trying to be like a. I think the Imperials call it an exorcist. Oh. This note got all kinds of... Anyway, wait at Blood Skull Barrow until further orders. I will try and infiltrate the city. Unless the other group makes their move. Ramoro. Ramo. I'm going to guess that's a red guard name. Because I don't know how to pronounce it properly. It got so burnt the ink is through the page. I like that's something. Well, alright. I seem to have stumbled into something. Something that, uh... I think might need to get resolved before I find my grandmother. I'm sure she won't mind. After all, with... With the lack of couriers going over the, uh over the border and the lack of ships for that matter I think mine was the last one that's uh, actually going back and forth to to Morrowind Vardenfell anyway I'm pretty sure mine was the last one but uh, Gjolland, the uh, the Nord driving the thing he seemed pretty convinced that he did not want to go back there again and frankly, I don't blame him. I would get tired of trying to sail through ash storms constantly myself. But right, it's hard to get messages out. I'm pretty sure she doesn't even know I've left mum yet. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, this note. Uh, what was it you needed again? I found this. I was hoping you'd explain it for me. Well, to start, bring this information to Captain Belly. I'll keep the rest of these endwalls from running off. Alright. So I take it that, uh... What you mean of running off? Is there a necromancer in our midst? Because if there is, boy. I'd like to have a word with them. Uh, unless there's someone up there that I'm not seeing. So you're with the guard then? There's a horker out there. Alright, I'll take your word for it. And if it turns out to be a setup, I'm gonna stick you through. I'm gonna run away before he actually takes my threat seriously. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure he would though. I don't exactly look like someone who'd actually stick someone through on a threat, you know? Well, 
Well, maybe I do. I'd hope the black kind of gives uh, a certain impression that I'm not to be uh, not to be most about messed about with. Ah, the brain thing's happening again. I really hope it's not that uh, whatever that is that stone thing doing something weird to my head. I should probably just break it down if it's causing this much trouble. Although, I seem to be the only one who actually remembers that it happened. Oh, there's the guy with the missing pickaxe. There's the other guy. My husband Bendel oh, feared visitors sorry. would shun Raven Rock. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. I'm not exactly much of a visitor, am I? Anyway. You, uh, selling... Ash it looks like. Welcome to Raven Rock, Traveller. Could I interest you in any fine ash-grown foods? Eh, yeah, probably. Well, take a look at what I have and maybe we can make a deal. Sounds great. I kinda... Whoa, you've got all sorts of stuff. I'll take some ash yams. Definitely. How much gold do I have? More than I thought I did. Alright. Ooh. You tempt me. Uh... I'll grab some bread. Worker stew. Mmm. Worker gloves. I suppose I could use another one of those. Uh. Niche leather. Right then. Salt. I could use that, actually. And some wood crab legs. Because I don't have any that I could eat right at the moment. Actually, I'll sell you the ones that I uh, I haven't cooked. Because I've... Uh, I'm sure you could do something with them that I can't. That'd be great. I'll take some more potatoes. Right, uh, now we've bought stuff. Uh... Sadri wants to try, wants uh, everyone in Solstheim really to try his new drink. He's got a new Sujama. Word is it's actually quite good, although that word comes from a Nord, so uh, take what you will from that. Always a pleasure to taste anything Geldis comes up with. Alright. That sounded uh, less than enthusiastic, but I'll leave you to your business. Next time you're hungry, stop by. I always have plenty of food for sale. Thank you so much. Just between you and me, Geldus' stock is rather non-existent right at the moment. You look my age, actually. Oh, hello. You looking for a handout or something? Was it you? No, it was her. You both look about my age, actually. Uh, you old enough to drink? Sadri's handing out samples. Well, tell Geldus that Miri says she really appreciates it. Next time, then. Alrighty. That's, uh... Quite a voice on that one. You're the one. Miserable. Just miserable. Oh, I hate this place. You, uh... You want a drink? At least my father will let me drink whatever I want without complaining. Tell Geldis I appreciate it. Will do. Uh, can you tell me more about that shrine? I've, uh... Heh, <laughs> run into it this morning. Why can't I remember? I was sure it was important. Oh, that's fine. So, uh, you don't like it on Solstein? I can't imagine why. Don't like it? I hate it. Every day it's the same thing. We open the shop, we hardly sell a thing, we close the shop and go to sleep. What kind of a life is that? That's a pretty normal life, actually. Be glad you're not back in the Ashlands. It's, it's a bit grim out there, to be frank. But, uh... You ever considering returning to, like, Blacklight or something? Oh, believe me. I'd be on the first ship off this miserable island if I could. But I'm Who's not that? sure I could do that to my father. I think it would break his heart. We've already lost my mother. I don't want to leave him alone. Right, uh, I'll be right back. There's someone I gotta talk to. Keep yourself safe. Solstheim's still a dangerous place. Excuse me. Uh, Skull. 
Skull? Need something? Do you... Uh... Have you seen a... Uh, a... A grey-haired... Skull... Around? Her name is Yarnfeeder. Do you know where she went? Good afternoon. I can see he's not really one of the smart ones, is he? Right. Where were I? Where was I? Over here with you. Right. Miserable. Just miserable. Oh, I hate this place. Okay, I know it might be a little bit of a uh, personal question, but the... How did your mother die, exactly? We lived in a settlement, perhaps a league from the border of Black Marsh. The homeland of the Argonians. I know the place. Even though the Argonian invasion ended a long time ago, there are still a few scale-skinned clans that live within our borders. To put it simply, they attacked our settlement and slaughtered almost everyone. It was horrible. Sorry to hear that. I, uh... My mother works. My mother and father, and I used to. Uh... They work in Solstheim. Not Solstheim, Morrowind. Back down down by the border, actually. Uh, making repairs to stuff like that. Is there... If there's anything I could ever do for you, you let me know, okay? That's, uh... I've seen the aftermath of that kind of thing. But I didn't know anyone who was uh, affected quite as deeply as you. So, uh, you keep, uh, <laughs> as my grandmother would say, you keep kicking, eh? Keep yourself safe. Solstheim's still a dangerous place. You too. Well, that put a damper on the mood, didn't it? Right, I'm supposed to give this to somebody. Why? Never seen a redder in guard before? That's not exactly what... Anyway. Must not be the one that was on duty a night before. No, I still not got your pickaxe. I don't think I will, frankly. What am I going to do with the pickaxe? Excuse me. Keep moving. Right. Someone around here has to know where I can get this uh, note to. Oh, we've got a priest up here. Excuse me, but the temple is for followers of our faith alone. Outsiders aren't welcome here. Right. Non-believers are never welcome here. What gives you the impression that I'm a non-believer? Eh. Doesn't matter. Look! It's actually clearing up a little bit. Hey, You big red beastie! Actually calming down, are you? Eh, whatever. Whoa. God's grief, blue sky! I can't remember the last time I- Oh. I can't remember the last time I saw blue sky. Look at it, it's so blue! Oh, I think my lenses are all dusty actually. Let me just- Have you ever seen something so blue? That's amazing! The water doesn't look great. Probably got ash stuck in it. But that's... Out. Beautiful and glorious and... All the rest. Oh, you can see where the ash is going though. Yep. I guess the wind's taking it that way. That sounded really bad actually. Right. Uh, I've got a note. Glover Mallory is a wonder with a hammer and anvil. He mended my armor like an old pro. Right then. Ah, uh, you know what I could give this to. Prospecting for ebony. No. You're wasting your time. For mine's as dry as a bone. <sighs> of course it is. I want to know what's out here. It's just blue. It's just so blue. Look at this. It's so blue. Oh. 
What am I crouching for? It's about to get messy up in here. There's a flag over there. Okay, not the time to get distracted. Let's just do this. Oh good, there's a patrol coming. You- what are those things? Come here! Yeah, you leave them alone! Aye, there's another one. Great gods, what was that? Uh, excuse me. You, uh... I guess he's not part of the patrol. You're not part of the patrol, are you? Thanks. I wasn't sure I'd make it off this farm alive. How long were you? I wish I could have said the same for my man here. I was gonna ask how long you were out here, but uh, I don't think I need to. I'm glad that patrol came by when they did, otherwise we'd both be toast. What were those things? Some of the Redoran Guard have taken to calling them Ash Spawn. Me, I don't care what they're called. All I know is they're a danger to Raven Rock and they need to be stopped. How did that bring you all the way out here? I was going to search for clues that might lead me to wherever they're coming from. I know it isn't the best place to start, but we know they've been coming from this direction. Alright. Well, I could lend you a hand. I am... Uh, sorry, my... Uh, I'd be glad to lend you a hand. Good. I can use all the help I can get. Besides, I don't feel comfortable leaving Raven Rock behind. And I'd hate to lose any more Redoran Guard. Yeah, no, they're too, uh, they're pretty valuable. Redoran are the very best. So I'm told. I'm not exactly a... I'm an Ashlander. Anyway, where do I begin? We were searching the farm when the Ashspawn ambushed us. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Alright, uh, while I do that... I've got a note here. I've got some news. I think it's about the sea tiger. If you want to take a look at it. Finally. I could use a pair of extra hands. Have you found something? Uh, a bunch of dead men. Basically a massacre. And this note. Good. Councillor Morvane was offering quite a bounty for assistance with this matter. Alright. Any idea what's going on? I don't know. They started attacking the bulwark a few weeks ago. Great. <sighs> Got any leads? I'd search one of the abandoned houses on the outskirts of town. I just don't have time to do it myself right now. Have a look around and see if you can turn up anything useful. Alright, I'll be back. Thanks. First, I'm going to help you out here, though, because that just makes sense. Oh, yuck. It's uh, not quite the same consistency as normal ash. I'm sure the blacksmith could use that. It's got a... it's got a letter on it. Stop that. Alright. Sorry, brother. Not my brother, but someone's probably. Was well, a girl? I don't know. I don't know if the Redoran Guard employs women. They'd be foolish not to, but not my call. Have you found something? Yep. Nope. Uh, I've got a note on one of the ash spawn. It's marked with an imperial symbol. This is strange. Yeah. The note says it's from General Falk's Carius, but that's impossible. Impossible. Why would that be impossible? Well, Carius was the Imperial Garrison Commander at Fort Frostmouth, but he died over 200 years ago when the Red Mountain leveled the place. There's no way he could still be alive. Alright, uh, what do you want me to do about this? If General Carius is still alive, there must be something keeping him that way. I need you to head out to Fort Frostmouth and check it out. I'm gonna head back to Raven Rock and prepare the men for further assaults. Oh, great. Right, I have one more question for you. Well, I've got two, actually. The first one is, what exactly are these ash spawn things? No one knows, really. Superstitious folks say they're the risen forms of those that died long ago. But I'm not so certain. They started attacking the bulwark a few weeks ago. My men were able to kill them, 
but they keep coming back. You're... You're having a bit of trouble with the bulwark, it seems, between them and the pirates. Pirates? They're, I'm gonna assume they're pirates. How often do they attack? They just keep coming, or what? We've had two other assaults on the bulwark, at different spots on the wall. Oh, great. I know it sounds crazy, but it's almost like they're becoming more organised and probing it for weaknesses. I wonder if they're working with the pi- I wonder if the pirates are behind this. You think there's a motivation there? Exactly. Something has to be directing them against us, and we need to find out who or what it is. Oh, great. Alright, speaking of weird things happening, uh, why is there a shrine being built outside of town? I don't know. It's hard to remember. Well, alright, I'm getting the same answer from pretty much everybody, but, um, I'll go, uh, I'll go look into the thing in town first, I think. And then see if I can figure out where Fort Frostmouth is. Because I don't know, actually. Be careful. This General Curious sounds out of his mind. Yeah, there's a few people around here who sound out of their mind, don't they? Ox is one of them. I'm probably the other, to be frank. Not that I'm frank. I'm more good. Yeah. Anyway. Jokes aside. That <laughs> sound like my grandfather. He's a funny man. He's a bit of a weird man, actually. Well, now that we're not kicking up dust anymore. <sighs> it's a rare day in Morrowin when you get to feel the sun on your face these days. That's really nice. Ah, oh, it's so warm! Ah! Oh. <laughs> what? Speaking of kicking up ash... Alright, come here, you. Alright, you're gonna want to stay back? Or are you gonna want to charge me? Oh, hello! Thanks for your help. I'll get this one. For house redderen, but Oh, we'll both get him. And so it ends. Good job. Got more ore. That axe of yours really does swing, doesn't it? I suppose all axes swing, but uh, you know what I mean. Alright, there's a thing that I'm supposed to be looking for. In the walls. Where am I? Oh, it's buried. It's probably smart. They can't find it if it's buried. I can't believe it's actually sunny out. This is amazing. Right, is this one abandoned? Nope. That one's locked. That one's not locked, but there's a guard, and so I assume that's not the one I'm looking for. Your visit here will be tolerated as long as you abide by our laws. God's grief, I'm sick of him. I haven't even been here that long and I'm already sick of him. Hello. He's a grumpy old bastard, isn't he? Alright, this place looks... ...well and truly abandoned. Yeah, I'd say that's well and truly abandoned indeed. Well, not in not completely. There's uh bed rolls here. Confessions of a dumber skooma eater. Ooh. How does one eat skooma? You drink it, you daft fool. Not that I'm supposed to know that. Anyway. Well, that's fresh. Five far stars. A volume of verse collected from the wise women of the Ashlanders. Oh! 
Rise from darkness, red mountains, spread your dark clouds and green vapours. Birth earthquakes, shatter stones, feed the winds with fire. Flay the tents of the tribes from the land, feed the burnt earth with our souls. Yet never shall you have your rule over me. Never shall I tremble or flinch from your power. Never shall I yield my home or hearth. And from my tears shall spring forth the flowers, the glass, grassland springs. That's beautiful. I wonder why I never heard that one. Hello? Is there anyone here? <coughs> you blend in! A little bit. So, uh... You're... Ramodo. I assume. Uh, right. Uh, rough day. Who are you? What are you doing here? Well, I'm supposed to investigate uh, one of the abandoned houses at the edge of town. I kind of only found this one. Yeah? Well, I got news for you. There's nothing to see here. Oh, I see plenty of things. I see uh, bread. I see a uh, a rather lovely book of Dun Dunmer poetry, which I quite enjoy and wonder why a uh, Red Guard pirate has it. Look, you must have me confused with someone else. You know what? I think I do know the guy you're talking about. Are you looking for someone? Yep, but I think he ran away. You're not the first person to come in here asking about him either. Alright. I'm gonna let that go and ask why you and uh, whoever you're with are attacking the bulwark? You really don't know anything about this, do you? Then what are you doing here? Well, I just sort of, uh... I just got here. I was looking for work, you know, how it goes. A young damsel adventurer like myself found a thing and uh something something sea tiger something. What? You alone? That's madness, friend. You don't put up with a man like that. He puts up with you. What? So the sea tiger is a man? I thought it was a ship. Alright. Color me confused. What's going on here? You have a death wish or something? Alright then. It's all in this note. No, I don't actually have a death wish, but uh, thank you for uh, your cooperation. Sorry. I've got a brain thing. <coughs> I'm gonna read it down here where there's a bit of light. Instructions. Whoever's handwriting this is is worse than mine. Or better, I suppose, depending on who's reading it. Forget the treasure hunting, the criminal word after it's worth over two... I'm going to call that 20,000 gold coins. Who served the Telvani wizard of Soul Simon is now an auxiliary to the Red Urn and Guard, so tread carefully. You need to discover where they keep this rat-faced scum and then bring him to me. Rat-faced scum. Not a dumber, then. My men will be waiting for you at Blood Skull Barrow. Remember, I want him alive. Sigrun! Definitely not a dumber. That's a Nord name if ever I heard one. Alright, what am I supposed to do with this now? Okay, more questions. So, you're here to help? I can't do this all on my own. You're looking for a, uh... Someone protecting a criminal. I assume, given the bounty. Yeah, and are keeping him somewhere. But I don't know where. I don't dare leave the house myself. So I need someone to find that proof for me. Okay. I can ask the guards, I can ask the innkeeper. I don't think the guards would know who's being kept where... Well, I'm trying to do a favor for Sadri anyway. He might owe me one. What? You stupid or something? If you go in there, you don't come out. Ever. Catch my drift? What? I, so there's something going down in the wretching niche that I should stay away from. Alright, what about the guards then? We can't trust anyone. Who knows what they'll do if they find me here? Probably arrest you, actually. 
All right, what exactly does your boss want? That's her business, not mine. I do what I'm told. All right. I'll see what I can do. Good. I'll have a sack of coin waiting for you when you get back. Best if you didn't mention to anyone that you saw me here. Obviously. <laughs>